क्लास नाइन फर्स्ट लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश असेसमेंट मार्च 2024 मॉडल क्वेश्चन पेपर विथ आंसर्स मीन्स आर एज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज द एंड द अप्रोप्रिएट क्वेश्चन टैग टू बी एडेड इज आर दे और आर एंड दे और इज दे और इज एंड दे द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी आर एंड दे The grass is really like me. The figure of speech used here is is it a metaphor or a simile or personification or alliteration? The right answer is option B simile. The suitable prefix to be added to the word responsible is il, non, ir or dis. The right answer is option C ir, irresponsible. He works hard that he may become rich. Identify the clause by the clause of the underlined word. Main clause or it's an adverb clause or adjective clause or noun clause. The right The right answer is option B adverb clause. If I dash faster I would have won the race. The appropriate past perfect form of the verb is to be filled in is it had walked has walked or had been walked or have walked the correct answer is option a had walked if i had walked faster i would have won the race the is dash employee of california choose the correct articles the the or is it the and or a a or the a uh. the right option is option The doctor is an employee at California. Observe the relationship in the first pair of words and complete the second pair accordingly. Courtesy, good manners, gesture, a movement of part of the body. Realize, realization, enjoy, enjoyment. Meet, meet, need, need. Civility civilities policy policies rewrite as directed change the voice of the sentence they gave the money the money was given by them frame a question to get the underlined words as answer the indian ambassador visited the western countries who visited the western countries use the words provided and write a sentence using if clause second conditionals money reshma buy car if reshma had money she would buy a car answer the following combine the following pair of sentences by changing the adjective line to noun form james was silent during enquiry It did not help the police in bringing the culprit to book. James' silence during enquiry did not help the police in bringing the culprit to book. Use the given phrasal verb in a sentence. Come across. I came across a group of children playing. The meaning of the given idiom. A chance in a million. An extremely rare chance or opportunity. identify the error and rewrite the sentence correctly the vidana sauda is most prominent building in bengaluru read the lines and pick out any four adverbs he put his pack all on his back and so merrily trudged over the sea a peddler peddler what is in the pack come speedily and tell to me then robin hood he was standing by and he did laugh most heartily go you try master says little john go you try master most speedily they sheathed their swords with friendly words merrily friendly heartily and speedily in the poem given below pick out the lines that speak about the humiliation suffered by the women The grass is also like me it has to unflow 
underfoot to fulfill itself but what does it but what does its wetness manifest a scratching sense of shame or the heart of emotion a searching sense of shame or the nest emotion identify the main clause and subordinate clause in the given sentence the exercise is so easy that i can do it main clause the exercise is so easy subordinate clause that i can do it read the information and complete the sentence using more most least fewer and fewest no other state in the us has as much rain as louisiana louisiana has the most rain of all the other states of the us the green party candidate didn't get many votes all the other candidates got more the green party candidate had the fewest votes of all the other candidates following are the few signals what do they indicate a hotel or restaurant is 500 meter ahead from that particular place second one no road ahead his skin is hanging on a wall his bones are packed in plastic white and shipped out a gecko on the wall is hunting insects on his side read the above lines of the poem and explain the extinction of tigers the dead tiger's bones were sent out in white plastic together with his skin which is hung on a wall and a gecko on the wall is using his height to capture insects here is a schedule of renu it talks about what renu did in a week in august 2023 Read carefully and complete the following sentence with correct preposition. Monday, Tuesday, music classes at five thirty. Wednesday, library evening. Thursday, phone Rima. Saturday, movie evening. Sunday, press clothes. Renu went to the library dash Wednesday on Wednesday. Renu went to the music classes dash five thirty p.m. on Tuesday at five thirty p.m. on Tuesday. Change the following sentence into reported speech. He said to the lady, "Give me a glass of water." He requested the lady to give him a glass of water. Change the following sentences into complex and compound sentences. It was raining. We stayed indoors. Complex. We stayed indoors because it was raining. Compound. It was raining, so we stayed indoors. Change the given sentence into other degrees of comparison. Iron is the most useful of all metals positive degree no other metal is as useful as iron comparative degree iron is more useful than any other metal the chart below shows information on the expenses incurred in, in conducting annual sports meet in a school study the chart carefully and answer the questions given below estimation of expenditure in percentages 10% 10 chairs and decoration 30% cultural program 25% sports equipment 15% refreshments 15% mementos and trophies 5% invitation sorbonne and certificates <coughs> what is the percentage of expenditure on cultural program in the above given chart so it is 30% is the right answer which has the least expenditure in the above chart it's the 5% invitation sorbonne and certificate list out the items that were needed to prepare the budget for the annual sports meet mementos trophies invitation sorbonne certificate below is the story of nancy rearrange the story in the correct sequence my price is three things the sky god says i must first have Mombro the hornist i must then have onini the great python i must then have the leopard for these things i will sell you the right to tell all stories anansi replied to the sky god i can do it what is the price see he walked towards the house of onini the python he said my wife is stupid i say he is longer and shorter my wife says he is shorter and weaker the python heard anansi talking to himself and said 
why are you arguing this way with yourself d so anansi laid the pole on the ground and the python came and stretched itself out beside it e anansi anansi carried the python to nayami the sky god who said there is and more thing to do f onini anansi said it turns out that my wife was right and i was wrong you are shorter than the pole and weaker wasn't as good as my wife's but you were even more foolish than i and you are my prisoner says so the answers are here so you can check first is b second is a third is d then it is g so then it is c and then f please go accordingly i'll show you once again so first is b a d g so then it is c and f So fill in the blanks with suitable forms of the verbs given in the bracket. I am Shankar. I am an English teacher. I am working in Sarvodaya High School in Jayanagar. Every day I go to Bengaluru by train. The train is at six o'clock, so I get up at four thirty and leave home around five thirty. My friend Suresh joins me on the way to the railway station. He is also a teacher. He teaches biology. The train reaches Bengaluru around eight thirty a.m. So find out any six words related to airplane from the grid given below. So fuse, cockpit, rudder, landing, airplane, wings. Change the following into passive voices. Kusuma sings classical songs. Classical song was sung by Kusuma. The teacher is giving the questions. The questions were given by the teacher. The minister has honored all the teachers. All the teachers were honored by minister. Write a brief summary with the clues provided for the poem geography lesson. Florence, Hatstone, Jet Sprang, Hapazard. Ten thousand feet, logic six miles high. Hate the poet Zulfi Kaghos begins his poem geography lesson by telling the readers how it all makes sense when the jet takes off and is at a height of about six inches to a mile. It becomes clear why the city had been developed the way it is. He mentions how unavoidable it was to notice. how unplanned and non stylish the city looked before the jet took off when the jet reached a certain height of about 10000 feet he talks about how it all made sense as to why the country had cities built along the rivers the poet even understood why the valleys were inhabited moreover the logic that the intersection of land and water fascinated men behind could clearly be seen the poet mentions that as the jet reached a height of 6 miles one could clearly see that the earth is round and more and had more sea than land read the extracts and explain must you inflict further jar in yourself This line has been selected from the lesson the best advice i ever had written by vijayalakshmi pandit mahatma gandhi ji said the above sentence to vijayalakshmi pandit gandhi ji asked mr pandit to not hurt herself as the pain of her husband's death already hurt her too much hence he asked her not hurt herself further by harboring anguish for her relatives Tuitions for medical entrances are not just tuitions. This line has been selected from the lesson A Question of Space. Vikrant's father said these words to Vikrant. According to Vikrant's father, tuitions for medical entrance for not just tuitions, they coached him for a career for highly competitive exam. You look so scare worn. This line has been selected from the lesson An astrologer's day written by R K Narayan 
the astrologer said these words to his customer he picked up his kauri shells and pelina and was putting them back into his bags when the green shaft of light was bolted out he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him he sensed a possible client and said you look so careworn it will do you good to sit down for a while and chat with me new geekox nibble on his ear this line has been selected from the poem tiger written by kiki daruwala describing the plight of the tigers the poet says that the king of the jungle is now hung on the wall jungles used to tremble at his roar and the birds perching on the trees tops would fly away hearing it now the lizards move behind the skin of the tiger searching for insects i always make my mark this line has been selected from the poem the pencil story written by florence hatson a pencil suffers pain when it is sharpened the more it is used the smaller it becomes yet it would leave its mark whenever it is used or word or whatever is written with it read the following lines of the poem and explain it briefly africa my africa africa of proud warriors in ancestral savannas africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river i have never known you but your blood flows in my veins your beautiful black blood that irrigates the field the blood of your sweat the opening line of the poem expresses the poet persona's life for his nation africa he uses a possessive pronoun to exhibit his love for africa the poet persona regrets for not being a part of golden africa wherein it had many warriors and rich savanna the poet persona has heard of the glorious past about which he comes to know through the folk songs of his grandmother the poet persona is proud with his self recognition of his ancestors blood running in his vein he is proud of his color and race he happily announces the color of his blood as black the poet persona says that their black blood irrigated the entire grounds of africa read the poem and answer the questions i am a little pencil and my name is h and b i lie upon the mantel piece of everyone to see i am handled 40 times a day it is a it is a very life and when my wits are rather dull i am sharpened with a knife i scrawl when tommy has me and i draw all sorts of things from submarines to aeroplanes to cabbages to kings i write a lovely letter and miss phyllis is about and if by chance I make mistakes miss phyllis rubs them out what is the name of the pencil the name of the pencil is h and b where is the pencil kept the pencil is kept upon the mantelpiece how many times a day it is handled it is handled 40 times a day why is the pencil sharpened the pencil is sharpened because the wits of the pencil become dull Children please write in sentences I've just written the words but it has to be written in a sentence in English The same atmosphere of friendliness prevails even in Port Louis the seat of government The cabinet ministers and others in high position do not act as if they were born to the grace they are just like ordinary people one bumps into in an airport lounge and in a hotel lobby they are unaccessible accessible communicative and above all go about without a protective shield of hangers on and security men to ripple casual approaches i am shown a modest looking flat in a busy street lined with shops and crawling traffic It is the residence of Prime Minister of Mauritius. Port Louis brings to my mind jo- Joseph Conrad and Morgan.
this little port town seems as if were built at the suggestions of these writers to suit their novels and short stories merchant ships trawlers dinghy stand anchored in the harbor with cob webs with cob webs of ropes and festoon of flags hanging from their masts dreamy sailors and dock hands in in seamen's caps launch and oil drums and packing cases or lean against bleak warehouse walls smoking pipes sugarcane fields like a carpet of green cover the island is all sights as far as the eye can see up to the foot of the distant blue mountains that ring the island a volcanic happening of geological ages these mountains do not have the traditional monotypous pyramidal shapes their outlines are freakish and whimsical with unexpected sweeps and perpendicular drops and pin pointed peaks variously doing a balancing act with boundaries as big as a sky scraper explain the absence of protocol among the government officials and ministers in mauritius or in the evening a change came over her she did not pray she collected the women of the neighborhood got an old drum and started to sing for several hours she thumped the saging skin of the dilapidated drum and sang of the homecoming of the warrior we had to pursued her to stop to avoid overstraining that was the first time since that was the first time since i had known her that she did not pray she thumped the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum how it is related with the grandmother the author points out that in mauritius the cabinet ministers and others in high position are unassuming accessible communicative and go about like ordinary people without protection and security moreover prime minister lives in a modest looking flat in a busy street lined with shops and crawling traffic a few days later my most sensitive toe was trampled on rather heavily as i sat reading on the top of a bus i looked up with countenance sorry sir i said i know these are heavy boots got them because my own feet get trod on so much and now i'm now i'm treading on other people's hope i didn't hurt you sir he had hurt me but he was so nice about it that i assured him i hadn't after this i began to observe him whenever i boarded the, his bus and found a curious pleasure in the constant good nature of his bearing he seems to have an inexhaustible fund of patience and a gift for making his passengers comfortable i noticed that if it was raining he would run up to the stairs to give someone the tip and there was room inside with all people he was as considerate as a son and with children so solicitous as a father evidently a peculiar warm place in his heart for young people and always indulge in some merry jest with them if he had a blind man on board it wasn't enough to set him down safely on the pavement he would call to bill in front to wait while he took him across the road and round the corner or otherwise safely on his way in short i found that he radiated such an atmosphere of good temper and kindness that a journey with him was a lesson in nature courteously and good manners list out the instances where the polite conductor where the polite conductor showed his civil behavior or punctually at midday he opened his bag and spread out his professional equipment which consisted of a dozen cowry shells a square piece of cloth and obstructive mystic charts on it
a notebook and a bundle of palmyra writing his forehead was resplendent with sacred ash and vermilion and vermilion and his eyes sparkled with a sharp abnormal glim which was really an outcome of a continual searching look for customers but which his simple clients took to be a prophetic light and felt comforted the power of his eyes was considerably enhanced by the by the position place as they were as they were between the painted forehead and the dark whiskers which seemed which streamed down his cheek even a half wit's eye would sparkle in such a setting the crown the effect he wound a saffron colored turban around his head this color scheme never failed people were attracted to him as bees are attracted to cosmos or dahlia stalks he sat under the boughs of a spreading tamarind tree which flanked a path running through the town hall park how has the author rk narayan portrayed the attractive appearance of the astrologer his forehead was replendent with sacred ash and vermilion and his eyes sparkled with a sharp abnormal glim the power of his eyes was considerably enhanced by the position placed as they were between the painted forehead and the dark whiskers which seemed down his cheeks to crown the effect he would put a saffron colored turban around his head read the following passage and answer the questions given below some people think that the aim of education is merely to give knowledge these people want students to read books and do nothing else but add to their knowledge alone is not enough only that which enables a man to earn his living can be called education such people think that bread is more important than anything else still others believe that education should aim solely at making good citizens and good patriots all these people see only one of the several purposes of education as a matter of fact education should aim at all these three things together it should give men knowledge make them self reliant and able to serve others what do some people think about the aim of education some people think that the aim of education is merely to give knowledge these people want students to read books and do nothing else but add to their knowledge alone is not enough only that which enables a man to earn his living can be called education which are the things that education should aim at it should give men knowledge make them self reliant and able to serve others write an essay about 18 to 20 sentences on any one of the following topics air pollution or national festivals so i've taken air pollution this time air pollution is the most serious problem of the current time all over the world especially in large cities because of the huge level of industrialization the release of such air pollutants in heavy concentrations such as smog particles solid materials etc are getting settled over the city causing air pollution and health hazards many dirty wastes are produced by people daily especially in the big cities polluting the whole atmosphere atmospheric air to get extent the release of gaseous pollutants from burning of motor vehicles industrial processes burning of garbage etc are contributing to the air pollution some natural pollutants like pollen dust soil particles natural gases etc are also source of air pollution imagine you are rakshit or rakshita of government high school mandya write a letter to your friend describing a book you have recently read and recommending it to him or her or imagine your bhargav or bhargavi of government high school kalburgi write a letter to the editor of a newspaper protesting against street noise from rakshit 9th class government high school mandya so you have to write the date then my friend 
माई डियर फ्रेंड हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन हियर हाउ इज योर स्टडी आई एम राइटिंग दिस लेटर टू इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट द बुक द विंग्स ऑफ फायर रिटन बाई ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम रिसेंटली आई हैड ब्रॉड दिस बुक एंड रेड इट इट इज अ वेरी इंस्पायरिंग बुक वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रगल्स एंड हार्डशिप ऑफ ए पी जे इज लाइफ थ्रू दिस बुक आई रेकमेंड यू टू रीड दिस बुक दिस शोज द पाथ ऑफ लाइफ टू अर्स यू कैन बाई दिस बुक इन एनी नियर बाई स्टो योर लविंग फ्रेंड रक्षित टू मनोज नाइन स्टैंडर्ड गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल मलवली Thank you dear students all the best